So now it's time for the gold medal match. And team event on Compound Friday here in Napoli. Iran versus Turkey. The Turkish athletes out on target too. Suleiman Araz is paired up with Mohamed Yetima for the Turkish team. And the Islamic Republic of Iran, represented by Mohamed Salah Palisban and Kiarash Farzan. Line judge presented to the crowd. The wind coming from behind the athletes here. It's been fairly consistent in direction for the last 20 minutes or so. The big issue for the archers is that the speed of the wind is dropping and climbing. It's creating some long holds for the archers. Turkey will shoot first in this gold medal match here at Napoli 2019. Good start from Aras. Comes over to teammate Yetim. pair of tens for the team who came through the ranking round with a 1408 rank second they knocked out India and the USA on the way here to their match against the Islamic Republic of Iran So the nine for the first arrow, subject to a measure for Iran. As Aras steps back up to the line for Turkey. Finger drops, yet in. Nine, no. Juice is a nine. So a definite 39 for Turkey. Result. Well, a 37 in the end, but uh, two arrows subject to a measure. So if they both get marked up, Iran could be on 39 as well. First and fourth arrows subject to the measure. As you can see, they're starred on the scoreboard. <laughs> Turkey, of course, will hope that at least one of them remains a nine. <laughs> you can see the disappointment there for Farzan. Too tight to call that one on the left-hand side. That's the Turkish target. And 
Miss in Boston, acting as the agent for her Turkish teammates. Well, one arrow was marked up, the first one for the Iranian team. They go to 38 after the first end, trailing Turkey by a single point here in the gold medal match. The start of the second end here, the compound men's team event. Going for gold is Kiarish Farzan for the Islamic Republic of Iran. <laughs> Teamed up with Mohammed Salah, Palisban. Good start from them. Iran getting the perfect score at the halfway stage of this second end. Over to Suleiman Araz. Matched by the Turkish pairing of Araz and Mohamed Yetim. Sarzan and Palazban came through Indonesia and Mexico to get to this gold medal match. And a perfect score for the Iranian team. Putting some pressure on Turkey. They came into the second end with a one point lead. for Suleiman Araz. <laughs> Very different style from his teammate Mohamed Yetim. Uh, but they both get tens to finish off and it's a perfect score from both teams. Turkey leading by one point at the halfway stage. Suleiman Araz and Mohamed Yetim required a perfect score after Iran put a perfect score down of their own. But Turkey were up to the mark and maintain their one point lead in this gold medal chase here in Naples. Well, there we have confirmation of the perfect scores from both teams in a high-quality second end. Turkey still lead by a single point over the Islamic Republic of Iran at 79, plays 78. So trailing by a single point, it's Kiarish Farzan and Mohamed Sela Palizban who will shoot first for the Islamic Republic of Iran in the third end as they go up against Turkey for gold here at the 30th Universiade. You look at that wind now blowing in front of the athletes. 
pretend it was a tailwind coming from behind. The Iranian pairing were up to that change of conditions. Now it's playing across the range, but uh, Suleiman Araz hits the middle of the target. Opportunity for Iran here. A dropped point from Turkey. If they can maintain it in the center of the target, they can level things up here. They drop a point when the opportunity was presented. Arash Farzan did not take it. Marked as a 10, so 39 out of 40 for Iran. Nine, That's dropped into the nine. Ten required to remain level on points overall. And Yeti puts it right in the middle of the target as well. They score a 38. Turkey, so they give up a point in that end. The Islamic Republic of Iran scored 39. Things are all square at 117 apiece and perfectly poised to go into the fourth and final end for the gold medal in the compound men's team event here at Napoli 2019. There we have confirmation of the scores in that third end. Iran getting a 39 to draw things level with Turkey overall. So it's the final end of the men's team compound here in Naples at the Royal Palace in Caserta. All square, Turkey will shoot first against the Islamic Republic of Iran for gold. And it's Suleiman Araz on the shooting line. Nine, Looks like a nine from uh, Kiarash Farzan. Mohamed Salah Palazban here needing a ten to keep things level. Oh, look at that shot right on the spider in the middle of the target, and that will give the Iranian team bags of confidence. Potentially the last two arrows for Turkey. 
Suleiman Aras to shoot first. Just on the 10 line there. Mohamed Yetim. Up for the final arrow of the regulation ends here. Puts it into the 10 as well. Sets a target of 39 for the Iranian team. Arash Farzan. His last arrow of the fourth end. And he's put it into the 10. A 10 required to force a shoot off. Anything less and Turkey will take gold here in Napoli. Time pressure on. And it looks like that's on the line as well. Another 10 and another 39 for the Islamic Republic of Iran, and they needed that. And after four ends of high quality archery, it's 1-5-6 apiece between Iran and Turkey, and we will have a shoot-off here unless something spectacular happens down at the target end with regards to the scoring. Well, a stunning match here between Iran and Turkey. Confirmation of a 39 apiece in the final end of regulation archery. Turkey led after the first. They remained in the lead with the same score, a perfect score in the second. The Islamic Republic of Iran fought back and leveled things up in the third, and there was nothing between the teams in the fourth. So 156 plays 156, and we will have a shoot-off here for gold in the compound men's team event. The targets are being replaced. We need clean, fresh targets because the measure could become all important as both teams have dialed in on the center of the target here. The format is pretty simple. Both arrows, both archers shoot one arrow each. It's like a mini end or a half end. We start with the score. If one team has a higher score, they've got gold. If they're both on the same score, the target judge will measure the closest arrow to the center, and whoever's the closest takes gold at Napoli 2019. delay here is just uh, for the timing clock to start counting down. The line judge is ready. So here we go. A shoot off for the gold medal here in the compound men's team event. Turkey versus the Islamic Republic of Iran. And it's Turkey with Suleiman Araz to shoot first. One arrow per archer. They'll shoot alternatively for the gold medal here at Napoli 2019. Over to 
Yeah. Farzan for Iran. Nine. They match each other. Mohammed Yetim on the line for Turkey. And he puts it on the 10x ring. So now, not only does Iran need an X, they need one inside the X ring. And it's Mohammed Salah Palisban to shoot for Iran. Oh, and he's put it on the 9-10 line. They, I think they're both going to score a 19. This will go to a measure, and the X will be enough for Turkey. Subject to confirmation from the target judge. Turkey looked pretty confident down on the shooting line. And there we go. Suleiman Aras put it in the nine, as you can see. But this man, Mohamed Yetim, not only put it in the ten, but he put it on the X ring. And it's gold for Turkey in a shoot-off in the compound men's team event. They have just pit the Islamic Republic of Iran to gold. Turkey are the champions of Napoli 2019.